What's happening? I don't know. Unless, uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... <laughs> when did you last see your grandfather? Uh, four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested, liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off I without can't warning. That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What is it? Some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Now I'm sure something's back there. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Where are the keys? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable huh. commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind. He hasn't but spotted me yet. Have other ideas. That's right, Doc. Keep him off balance. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What was that? Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back! You got it, Doc. What was that?
455. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. All I gotta do is get to him before... Mr. Callahan. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa's uh, on jury duty, and I have to get him his medicine. Oh, well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Einstein, what is it, boy? Go away, boy! Crap! Einstein! Is it a squirrel, Einy? You want to play? Okay, let's play. I am not bonking myself on the head with a stick. What are you up to, Einy? Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? Go on, boy. Einstein! Dog. Oh, come on, Einy. Okay, let's try this again. Is it a squirrel, Einy? Go get her, Einy. You! Oh! Get this mangy animal away from me! Oh, come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no! Way to go, Einy. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Ah! Ah! Hey! Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. Oh, are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure, but Arthur's on an even deader deadline. Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Oh, hell. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. Uh, no, I mean after. Uh, never mind, let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. I've got a bad feeling about this.
You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. No, Artie. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Artie? Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah! Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram! <sighs> Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. I, I better get in there quick. Contents. One wing goddess. Oops. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crinks, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh... Artie, we got a few questions about you and the D.A. D.A. Day D E D. See what I'm working with here. Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold's got me wiped out. 
Well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Wake up, sleepyhead. Wonder Artie's so out of it. I figure we put Kid's Wall of Fame gallery up over the bar. That ought to give. I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. I don't want to waste my chloroform on that. Never get to that switch while Picasso's in my way. Uh, Zane, how's Trixie's post? Hey, hey, what was that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. I hope. Trying my patience, Artie. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. <laughs> Still can't get tricked. Cause his nose. Right. Nah. Nah. I'd have to stand up to reach him, and the others would see me for sure. Hear something? Matches. Got knocked out. I hope the sisters of mercy approve of our one hundred and twenty proof. Whoa. <laughs> I'll never get to that switch while Picasso's in my way. I don't think so. Uh, think there's a way we could get Rip Van Winkle here talking in his sleep? Yeah, I sleep talked once. That's all. I ended up married to Milk. Hey guys, I don't feel so. Say, wake up, you lazy bum! Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down. Two to go. Ow! Nice, nice. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. 
Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Wake up, sleepyhead. Wham! Right in the kisser. about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. That's me. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Looks okay. Are you sure? See, McFly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go, I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. Dad must have used that to haul away all those books from Doc's estate sale. Wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. When did we get a bug sapper?
Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Run out of town? What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in! This is a trick. Go away! Leave us alone! Haven't we suffered enough? Mom! Mom! It's Marty, Mom! Open up! It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away! Shame on you! How can I convince you? Tell me something only Marty would know. Ah! The first time he kissed Mom, it was at the enchantment under the sea dance. That's right! Oh my lord! What are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with him, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds! Ooh. Biff! So now the Tannins are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league! The Tannin Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California! We got connections all over the place! No way! You don't believe me? Man, no! Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out! To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Ooh. I got a question. <laughs> Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Which one? Ooh. Hey! And another thing. Did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Tell me. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do. We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Oh! Here's what I still don't understand. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us! Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. And another thing. Look, can't we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Okay, but 
Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. Piece of cake. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley matches with the Tannen family! Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade! We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down. Straight down. The last stop before the Inferno. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. What in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown! Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Harry. Harry? Mr. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? It's just... my new look. 
I'm trying to prove that you can dress like a gangster without being a gangster, you know? How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment! You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ainy and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now where's that speakeasy? Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined Techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, maybe later. I'll be here all night. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. What's Kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. I've been, uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen on tax evasion charges. Seems they'd gotten Tannen's books from his accountant. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence locker. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Callahan. Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. 
Didn't you think that Sagan was innocent? I used to, but after he escaped, two more speakeasies were torched in Colfax and Georgetown. That's just a coincidence. Coincidence? Or is our friend Carl a serial arsonist? I'm pretty sure that Carl Sagan didn't start those fires. We'll see. One of the reasons I'm camped out so close to Tannen's new speakeasy is it gives me the chance to catch the arsonist in the act. It'd make a great story for my column. So kids walking around free? Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. Couldn't Kid be brought up on other charges like, say, running a speakeasy? In a perfect world, yes. But no one in town seems to care about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Kid Tannen arrested. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. Keep me posted. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. Broken any... Only the usual. ...into a fight. Hey. Oh? I can't tell her that. See ya. Keep fighting the good. Donate to the clock tower fund. What's wrong with the clock tower? It's not broken, is it? Not in the slightest. Whew. It's just painfully drab. I'm raising funds to commission a sculptor to place a couple of handsome ornamental statues on either side of the clock face. Something to inspire the citizens to do their civic duty. Something like lions? Or gargoyles. You can't beat a good gargoyle. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Ew. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Who told you to come here? Doris Day? Take a hike, Squirt. Who said you were worthy? Hieronymus Bosch? Who died? and made you boss. Boss Hog? What will you do if I break your leg? Sidle up to your boss? Who said you were worthy? Boss Hog? Who gave Doris Day? What will you do when I send you away? Wait till Wednesday? Where did you come from?
Hattiesburg. Who gave you? Boss Hog? Who said you were? Doris Day? Who told you about this place? Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. <sighs> Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a Depression-era flop house. How are your investigations going? Why are Tannins always such jerks, anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. I haven't really made any progress with Trixie yet. Well, get out there and make some. If she doesn't blow the whistle on Kid tonight, he may never be brought to justice. Hey, who did burn down Tannen's original speakeasy anyway? I still don't know. I'd really like to find out before we go home. I never did get a straight answer about why he came back to 1931 in the first place. It's, uh, personal. When this is over, I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. Can you explain all this? I'm confused. It's very simple. In the original timeline, Timeline A, the speakeasy arsonist was never caught, creating one of Hill Valley's enduring historical mysteries. Okay. When I traveled back to 1931, I created Timeline B, in which I was misidentified as the arsonist and subsequently killed by Kit Tannen's goons. Einstein came with me, and somehow he ended up in the DeLorean when its failsafe mechanism triggered, sending it back to 1986. Which is where I came in. Precisely. You traveled back to June 14, 1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kid Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served for the subpoena. And shot by Kid Tannen's goons. Yes. So you jumped back in time six hours, creating Timeline D. Saving your grandfather's life, but somehow preventing Kit Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannins were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, creating Timeline E, in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tannen to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. Good. One question. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. I haven't really made any progress with Trixie yet. Well, get out there and make the justice. Just keep your head low. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. Harry, you're just in time. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science.
So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. Einstein! Oh, get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Can't you just go into the courthouse to get Einstein? If I still had my job as a clerk, sure, but lately a lot of evidence has gone missing, so they've installed new locks. Now the place is sealed up tighter than my dad's wallet. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einy stuck on the ledge? <laughs> Never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car. Especially one that doesn't work at all. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The floozy of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen's speakeasy to listen to her. Well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Cool. Frankenstein. Hill Valley Expo, October 12th through the 15th. Doc says the Expo was the day he officially became a scientist. Seems like he's running a couple months ahead of schedule. Time for a haircut now, even if they were open. Besides, they'd probably cut it too short. It's closed for the night. Luckily, I don't have a burning need for a greeting card. Should probably stop hanging around the town square and head off to the speakeasy.
Hey, boy, don't worry. We'll get you down. How? Geez, Emmett, I don't know. I was just trying to comfort him. Touch those, they're very sensitive. Sorry. I should probably stop hanging around the town square and head off to the speak. Hoover 28, a chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Cabbage crates. Who died and made you boss? Boss Hog? What will you do when I send you away? Row my boat? Who gave Doris Day? What will you do tomorrow? Wait till Wednesday? Who died? Boss Hog? What will you do if there's a raid? Radio for help? Where did you come from? Livermore. Okay, those guys going into the speakeasy were obviously speaking in code. Who told Doris Day? Who said you were Doris Day? Who is Boss Hog? Who gave... Boss Hog? Who died? Doris Day? Who told you to come? Doris Day? Who said the old gray mare? What will you do tomorrow? Read a book. Who told you to come? The old gray mare. Who is the king of the old gray mare? Who said you were worthy? The old gray mare? What will you do if I let you inside? Read a book?
No solicitors. No solicitors. Ah, terse and to the point. Who's your commanding officer? Commanding officer, uh, sir. Sir Galahad. Really? Is he as tall as he appears on screen? On screen, uh... Screens can be deceiving. Who is the King of Siam? Am I? What will you do if I let you inside? Sidle up to your boss? Where did you come from? From Russia. Uh, with love. Welcome to L Kid, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense. But I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What people think of me. I'm happy, go lucky, and say She's no Pat Benatar, but not bad. Not bad. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. If I do get the mean and stony stare, if I never El Kid, I still don't get it. It's like that El Cid place down in LA, only it's El Kid. Ah, okay, I see. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. Hey, I know you. You're Parker Osford, Danny Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. It's left. If I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Did you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? The shrew didn't burrow deep enough. Checkerboard Charlie, removed from the board. I guess someone jumped him. 
Hmm, looks like someone's about to be added to Tana's Wall of Fame. Hmm. You in? Why not? Something tells me Black's gonna hit. Twenty-three. Yeah. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. What's Parker's problem? Ah, Danny Parker. Now his problems follow him around like a pack of wolves. Really? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dang troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. What's Parker's pro- Ah, damn. Really? Oh, yeah. Frame of mind. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, dame? No way. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Hey. Take a hike, squirt. Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where you from? Name's, uh, Harry Callahan. I'm just your average 1931 kid, you know, hanging out in speakeasies and, uh, soaking in the scene. Average kids don't dress that way. Come on, what's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti, see? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Harry Callahan here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> hey. Take a hike, squirt. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? Yeah, jerk! 
I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, lay off, Ernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I ought to paste you one right on the- Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. Nice caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist. But it's kind of hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. That's why I'm giving Cuball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. Maybe 
You know, dear, that I'm in love Danny. You! So about those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Cause she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. That. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you. And then for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed, or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line, and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> well, I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad. I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God.
Worse in the blues or the front page news, it's rage. I'm overflowing. I've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too. They tell me that there's not a thing I can do. There's no consoling and there's Danny, no controlling you. this rage. Trust me, things will get better. Rage. Just keep listening to the music. Why? Daytime, None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Volcanoes blow the tops and tidal waves crest. But there's a force in nature worse than the rest. There's something that I've got to get off my chest. It's rage. I'm overflowing with rage. I'm like a villain on a stage or a lion in a cage full of rage. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? The rent's unpaid, dear, we haven't a bus. But Danny, were made, you! Dear, for people like us. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. Summer, what are you, my mother? Are More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Trust me, There's things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? No. I don't think there's anything. In time, I guess now I. There you go! On. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Hey, Artie! He's back! 